गुड मॉर्निंग एंड असलकुम टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास एट दिस इज मी मिस सोबिया फ्राम फैलकान हाउस रैमा स्कूल कैंपस नाइन द चैप्टर विच वी वर डूइंग वॉज द सिल्वर लाइनिंग एंड द टॉपिक विच वी हैव डन फॉर द रिविजन वॉज अ परफेक्ट टेंसेस द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव नॉट अटेंडेड द क्लास और आई है वॉच द वीडियो ऑफ द परफेक्ट टेंसेस आई विल रिपीट दैट परफेक्ट वर्ब टेंस इज यूज टू शो एन एक्शन दैट कम्प्लीट एंड फिनिश्ड मीन्स इफ वी विल शो एन एक्शन दैट इज कम्प्लीटेड एंड फिनिश दैट इज used as a perfect tenses that i have completed my work she had done his work it means that the action is has been taken place the exercise it is of the book that we have already done in the exercise books and in the textbook in this exercise you have to fill the blanks with the simple past or the past perfect form of the verb these both of the sentences you have to fill according to the situation and the sentences and you have to identify what the action has been done which kind of the perfect tenses whether it will be used over here either present past or future number 1 i dashed the biscuit by the time the children dash arrived i ate the biscuits by the time the children have arrived means the biscuits has been eaten by me and it will be converted automatically into the past perfect tense in which the action is has been taken place by the time she went to the hospital her uncle dash by the time she went to the hospital her uncle had died when we reached the hall the film had started i wish they had put in their application earlier they they have not been there for 2 minutes when the display begin b a g a n do remember that in the simple past tense we always use the second form of the verb begin b e g i n b e g a n b e g u n begin in the perfect tenses we always use the third form of the verb while in the simple past we always use the second form of the verb the dog was hungry it has not eaten anything for two days b the second form of b is was and when you are talking about not eaten it is very clear that it is the perfect tenses has happened had is must and the and the third form it is used so do so we have add it and you know that it is a singular subject has will come with it it has not eaten anything for two days i was still weak as i had a cold the previous week the students understood the lesson after the teacher had explained it to them it means the children had understood the lesson when the teacher had explained to them the next assignment which you have to do in your exercise book is that 
you have to complete the story given right here in this slide and do remember that you have to use the past simple tense in making out the sentences to complete the story for example i am just reading and telling you the answers as well when i was 13 years old i have i had decided to spend some time in islamabad at that time i had a friend named aslam why we are using had because all the things has been happened earlier in the past time and the actions is finished and completed so we will use past perfect tense the next topic which is adjective phrases what are the adjective phrases adjective phrases is a group of words that describe a noun or pronoun in a sentence it can be placed before or after the noun or pronoun it is in a sentence what is the adjective phrase that describe the noun that describe the noun or pronoun in a sentence that describe the quality of a noun or a pronoun that is what called adjectival phrase for example i will share you some of the examples for you all that number 1 the weather is extremely pleasant the weather is extremely pleasant it means that the weather is very pleasant and what is defining the weather extremely pleasant so we will underline extremely present at the adjective phrases number two the movie was not too terribly long the movie was not too terribly long what is describing the movie terribly long that is the adjective phrases the red thick book was kept on the table the red thick book was kept on the table what is describing the book the red thick and the table now in this exercise what you have to do you have to underline the adjective phrases and you have to circle the noun on these sentences and you have to underline the adjective phrases you have to copy down all the sentences in your exercise book just underline it and circle it okay everyone the students of class 8 thank you